Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to show you how I do these mermaid beachy waves without using any heat. So I hope you enjoy the video. So first things first, I'm going to brush through my wet hair. I like to do this as an overnight hairstyle, um, just because that's when I have my bath and my showers, usually in the evenings when I wash my hair. I then use the end of a teasing comb to find my parting. And I like to wear my parting in the middle. And then I will carry on the parting all the way down the back of my head. If you don't like doing French braids, then don't worry because this one is actually really simple. So I just start at the top with a section about this big and I just split it in half and I'm just gonna twist it over itself like that. And then you just keep adding little bits and twisting it over. I generally only add it to the bottom one and twist it up just because it's quicker. So I just keep taking little sections and twisting it in quite tight because it will get looser overnight. But once you've taken all of the hair and you get to the bottom of the neck, you then want to twist them away from each other and keep twisting away from each other like this and you'll know if you're doing it wrong because it won't it won't hold the twist and then I don't go right to the very end I stop about here because I find that if you keep going when you take them out the next day it just looks so frizzy and like a bit too crimpy so that is where I stop with my braid and it actually looks really cute as well you could easily wear this out for dinner if you're on holiday and your hair's wet from swimming and then the next morning it will be all nice and curly. I'll do the same on this side again just to show you how I did it. So I take one big section, split it in half, twist and then just keep adding from the bottom, adding it up into the twist. And my hair isn't completely sopping wet either. It's kind of just been sitting in a towel for a while. Um, so that's something else that I don't do. I don't put it sopping wet because often I find it's still wet in the morning and then it won't hold the curl as well. I also used to use those little elastic, clear elastic bands, but I actually find that these Primark smaller ones work fine. They don't tend to fall out overnight for me. I do them up tight enough and I also find those elastic ones I only use them when I really have to because they're quite damaging for your hair so there we go it's as easy as that it literally takes me two minutes to do these and then I can just sleep in it wake up take them out and they look well you'll see how they look because I'll show you um in the morning so yeah stay tuned to see what these turned out like okay so it's now the next morning and my hair's looking a little bit crazy because it's actually been in for longer than it usually is in for. So I'm just gonna start taking the braids out and they should just unravel. And then I like to brush through them really gently with my fingers. I do not take a brush to these because otherwise that would be a crazy frizzy mess. So just really gently pulling the braid apart. So you can obviously just leave it like this if you want to, but I have a few products that I use in a specific sequence that tend to make this hairstyle stay a little bit longer. So the first one is Hairspray, and this one is just Tresemme for hold. Um, I think this is my favorite Tresemme um, hairspray. And I just spray all of the waves so that it kind of locks them into place. It also gives them a bit more definition, which is nice. I then like to go in with a texturizing spray. So this could be like a salt spray or a texturizing spray. This one is from Aveda and it smells amazing. It's vegan, cruelty free. Aveda is such a great brand for that. So when I apply salt spray, I like to sort of grab my hair like this 
and start at the bottom with one spray and then sort of let it go and spray as I go up. And that just adds such a nice texture to the hair. Plus, makes your hair smell amazing. I don't even know what the scent of this is, but it's really nice. And then at the ends, I don't want any frizz, so I will use a frizz-free spray or an oil. This one is the Living Proof Instant Defrizz. And I just do a little spray at the ends and sort of drag them down. And then the final step that I really like to do is add a little bit of back combing at the crown of my head. I have quite a flat head at the back, so this is generally what I do with pretty much every hairstyle, just because I think it looks a bit more flattering, a little bit of teasing, and then I use the Redken Quick Tease Spray just at the back. And I only do about two sections of this. And then using the teasing brush, I just brush the top bit and then sort of move it into place with my fingers. So there we go, that is how I create my slightly crazy looking mermaid waves. <laughs> Let me know if you guys are gonna try this look out in the comments down below. One of my other favorite heatless hairstyles is the dressing gown curls. Um, let me know if you want a tutorial on that, but there's quite a few tutorials on that now because it's so popular. But yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you want more heatless hairstyling videos. I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.